Hey, it's time for Crate of the Week. <laughs> this week's uh, Crate of the Week from This Week in Week, I think episode 297 or issue 297, is this thing called Progenator. And Progenator has a very specific job that it does very well, which is to simplify the process of uh, creating clients based on Open API 3.0 specifications. And what is an Open API 3.0 specification? It's essentially a JSON document that describes an API. It's a way for computers to and sort of interrogate a server. Uh, and in our case, or at least in Progenator's case, uh, it will interrogate the server, download a description of uh, that API, and generate a Rust client for interacting with the service. There are two ways to, to actually access it. One is to uh, call a macro in your code, and this will essentially create code uh, on the fly at compile time and inject that into your crate. Well, I guess into your project. Um, it's the simplest way to get started. The documentation has a bunch of examples for being able to make use of it. Um, but if you want to go and in inspect the code itself, you need to go for a second option, which is actually to use a build.rs file. Build.rs is a sort of a build time construct, uh, also known as a build script that uh, you that will run at compile time and essentially al allow the compiler to or allow your project to ask the compiler to do things while the project is being compiled if this makes a little that sounds more complicated than it actually is essentially the build script will ask the compiler to create an api the api code before your project is run or your project is compiled and will then compile that, uh, uh, <laughs> save the source code into your project. I'm making no sense and I'm just going to proceed with, uh, with showing you what I mean. <laughs> so here is the, um, here is the crate uh, avail in, on GitHub. You can see that it's extremely well documented, which I really appreciate. And here again, uh, it describes the, the usage. And the first one, the first way forward is this macro uh, that also says that, by the way, you also need a couple of extra dependencies in order for it to work. Uh, and here are some of the uh, options that the macro provides. However, if you need more power or you really want to inspect the code that is generated, use this build.rs file as well. And there's more specific um, documentation. We can do better though. Um, the crate actually provides, I'll just show it up to you uh, here, actually some example code, and we're gonna compile that now. Um, so I'm in, I've downloaded the crate and I have uh, got it here in my uh, editor. Uh, and let's go into, I'm just in the, the base directory right now and i can go into sort of example build which is using like so let's start with example macro because that was the first one in uh in the docs and just uh run it so you can see we've got a bunch of stuff to compile uh like all of rust <laughs> essentially we we, we uh, have a bit of a compilation pause that's fine though uh once everything is in place you'll find that your second compilation will be much faster and you we've got a client uh which is nice because we that's kind of what we wanted to do and some other sort of internal crates as well and we're at 150 out of one, 152 out of 153 and there we go i've run the my example now it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, I've finished running it. So what actually is this? If I go example macro source, you can see that I am looking at some sample code and then I, I don't do anything at all. <laughs> so essentially all this is showing is that you can take a, uh, you can take some JSON description of an API, your open API spec and, progenitor knows what to do with it. 
Uh, let's say that you actually really wanted to take a look at the code that was being built. And I can go into example build, so go into the build script, run this one. And I'm going to add dash Q so that it runs a bit quieter. It again does next to nothing. Uh, so that's a bit odd. And you may be wondering what was the point of that? If I go into the build script, you can see that uh, the build script that's required, sort of similar file. And then this is interesting, codegen.rs is built. So if I go to source main.rs, yeah, so, so essentially I am writing the code to this codegen.rs file and then uh, including that with the include and concat macros in my code itself. And let's go for a, I need to go and find this thing just to kind of verify to myself that uh, it's probably in target. Codegen.rs. Okay, I've compiled this a couple of times, so I'm sort of cheating slightly. Uh, and I will copy this path and cat. Uh, well, we can open it up actually. So if I go into target and then debug, build, there's a whole bunch of file example dash build is what I want. And I'm gonna go for uh, example build 959. 959, nine, that looks like it is. And then we have out codegen.rs. Here is the generated client for the API. <laughs> so this was a uh, very brief introduction to the crate of the week. And uh, click along, like, subscribe, do the kind of usual YouTube thing. And uh, hopefully there'll be more and more of these over time. Uh, take care, have a lovely uh, rest of your day, and I shall see you back next week.